To get started with your Tensor Grip EPO CA spray adhesive kit, you'll need the canister, hose, and spray gun. Have wrenches handy for assembly. To assemble, first attach the hose to the canister. Tighten the fitting with a wrench. Next, attach the hose to the spray gun. Tighten that as well. Turn on the canister valve and release the spray gun trigger lock. Test to ensure proper spray from the gun before beginning work. Always leave the canister turned on or you run the risk of the adhesive curing up in the hose. To disconnect a hose, first bleed pressure from gun into a box or onto cardboard. When it's empty, disconnect the hose from the empty canister. Immediately connect the hose to a new canister. Failure to reconnect immediately may cause the adhesive to dry in the hose, rendering it unusable. To prepare a hose for storage, clean it by connecting it to a canister of Tensor Grip S101. Turn on the cleaning canister valve. Spray for 45 to 50 seconds to clear the hose. Turn the canister valve off and continue spraying until the solution is drained from the hose. Lay empty canister down with the outlet pointing away from people and objects. Turn valve on to bleed any remaining pressure. Once the canister is depressurized, use a brass punch to puncture the disc in the top of the canister. Recycle or dispose of empty canister. There are three versions of our spray gun. The M105 wand gun with the 8002 tip is recommended to give a 10 inch to 12 inch wide spray for the maximum application speed. Start by wearing proper safety equipment. Stay about a foot away from the surface and move at a constant speed. Going faster will make the coverage lighter, going slower will make it thicker. The proper spray coverage is shown here. Our higher-end nozzles make this process easier by allowing you to cover larger areas at a time. If you're repairing a full wall and the chem light is rolled down, make sure to spray into the narrow area between the two surfaces. After you've sprayed both surfaces, let the adhesive dry for at least 10 minutes but less than 2 hours. You can tell that an area is ready to be bonded when the adhesive does not stick on touch where it is heaviest. Begin pushing the liner along the floor toward wall. It should start to roll up the wall. Working together, push the liner up the wall. This can take between 3 and 10 people depending on the size of the trailer. It's important that everyone goes at the same speed to prevent wrinkles in the liner. If you have molding at the top of the trailer, you should stop 2 to 3 feet down from the top and tuck the liner into the molding, starting at the back and working your way along. If this is a partial section you are working on, hold the wall as you remove braces. Roll out the chem light carefully. You won't be able to realign, so make sure it is aligned properly. Finally, go over the entire liner thoroughly with an EPO roller applying firm pressure. Start in the middle and work your way to the sides. This process is extremely important. 
it may be beneficial to use a rubber mallet along the edges of the chem light. Congrats! You're done! The trailer is ready to go.